Hilary, when I read your books, I always feel <laughs> from the sensory nature of your descriptions that you've been there, whether it's a South African prison or a barge on the Thames. In that passage, there seems to be a description of what almost seems to be a physical transformation before the words come. Now, we know that you research meticulously, but something else seems to be taking place here. Can you describe the process which moves, which seems to move from this sensory feeling to the words, if that is indeed how that happens? That seems to be the description in the novel the flesh sort of made into words? I think the transition point is to do with uh, viewpoint, who's telling the story. Uh, and I remember when I began Wolf Hall and I had no idea when I sat down to write that morning how the book was going to, be, was going to sound or really what viewpoint the story was coming from. But I had a voice in my head. I had a, a voice saying, so now get up. And when I listened to that, I realised the voice was above my head. Then a picture formed, and the picture was a sideways angled view of a boot, it was a close-up, it was the stitching of the boot, it was a knot in the twine of the stitching. And the cobbles, then you feel the cobbles under your cheekbone, the, and then you can't see anything because there's blood in your eyes. And so